Que venez-vous faire ici Mes soldats, qu'on juise le capitaine italien à son excellence, le baron. Ils vous seront. What part of France are you from Montréal Open the gates Don't speak French. There were a couple of French girls in Firenze. <laughs> Regardez-le Il a honte de ce qu'il est General Dalviano, it seems that you have seen the light. Enough of your crap! Release my wife! Such entitlement from a man born with nothing to his name. Mine is worth its currency, unlike yours, which is counterfeit. How dare you? You think that commanding an army grants you nobility? Nobility comes from fighting beside your soldiers, not kidnapping a woman to cheat your way out of battle. Why don't you grow up here and release my wife? You savages never learn. Save my wife! Take the rooftops!
I only wanted respect. Respect is earned, not inherited or purchased. Perhaps you are right. I need more time. Che tu sia pari nella morte, requiescat in pace. Basileia! Don't ever disappear again. I was lost without you. Really? But you rescued me. Ezio came up with a brilliant plan. I did not. It was all your husband's idea. It was? You are my prince. Now I better earn that title. You will. Thank you. Now that things are getting serious and Cesare is now desperately without funds, Ezio and the Bartolomeo contingency are focusing on the Baron de Valois, a French military outfit invading Rome for some reason. I think it has something to do with one of the King Louises backing Cesare Borgia's military for some other coup plans in Italy? Possibly unifying the country under the Templar flag, but for now, it seems like the Baron is interested in blowing apart Bartolomeo's entire operation, and has done that by capturing Bartolomeo's wife in exchange for his head. Ezio develops a plan to stop this by playing Trojan Horse, an idea so revolutionary that even in post-Renaissance Italy, no one's heard about it yet. After some disguise shenanigans and a bit of the old drama magic, Ezio and the mercenaries gain entry to the French battlement and start looking for Baron Octavian. Ezio jumps around the rooftops of the Inner Sanctum, something so habitual at this point that the player all but forgot the journey until the time it took to kill the guards and hoist the gate to Octavian. From there you have to be careful, it's a 100% stealth mission, and for one of those it's not that bad. I jumped around on the rooftops to get to Octavian mostly because he is an incredibly hidden back part of the fortress since he's such a cool, confident leader of the people. There didn't seem to be a lot of guards on the roofs that would multiple detect my crossbow assault. If you make it to the top of Octavian's battlement then the mission is as good as done since he's right in the spot for air assassination. Most of the challenge of this mission is getting around the fortress and the guards doing a good job of balancing difficulty, so there's at least some fun and a bit of strategy to getting it done right. Now, if only Ubisoft could make the entire preparation for a mission fun, then we'd be off to getting a great all the way through Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> 